Edvotech Instructional Videos presents Exploring Biotechnology with a Green Fluorescent Protein Module 2 Isolation of GFP In Module 2, you will select GFP expressing colonies from the transformation plates created in Module 1. The bacteria will be grown overnight on LB agar plates containing ampicillin and IPTG. Next, the bacteria will be collected and lysed to release the GFP for later purification. For this module, you will need two LB agar plates containing ampicillin and IPTG, transformed bacteria from module one, or a plate of control pre-transformed bacteria, sterile inoculating loops, and finally, a microcentrifuge tube containing lysis buffer. Step one. Obtain two LB AMP IPTG plates. Step two, use your plus DNA plus AMP plus IPTG transformation plate, your result plate from module one, as the source of your seed culture. If necessary, you can share a plate with another group or use a control plate. Step three, with an inoculating loop, pick four to five isolated GFP expressing or glowing colonies. Step four, Spread the cells evenly and thoroughly over the entire surface. Turn the plate 90 degrees and thoroughly spread again using the same loop. Step five, repeat steps three to four for the second plate. Step six, replace the cover onto the plates. Step seven, incubate the plates inverted in a 37 degrees Celsius incubator overnight. Step eight, after the overnight incubation, check to make sure there is a confluent lawn of growth on at least one of the plates. Isolation of GFP. Step one, obtain a 1.5 mil microcentrifuge tube containing lysis buffer and label the tube with your initials. Step two, select a GFP plate showing the highest GFP expression after overnight incubation at 37 degrees Celsius. Using a sterile loop, carefully scrape the entire cell growth off of the GFP plate. Step three, twirl the loop containing the green colonies into the tube containing the lysis buffer. Twirl vigorously until the cells are dislodged into the buffer. Step four, Vortex the tube at maximum speed until the cells are thoroughly resuspended. Step five, incubate the tube for 10 minutes in a 37 degrees Celsius water bath. Step six, place your microcentrifuge tube containing the GFP cells into a minus 20 degrees Celsius freezer for 15 minutes or until frozen. Lay the tube on its side to ensure rapid freezing. Step seven, after the cell suspension is completely frozen, remove the microcentrifuge tube from the freezer and float it in a 37 degrees Celsius water bath to thaw the cells. Step eight, vortex the samples vigorously for 30 seconds. Step nine, repeat steps six through eight two more times. Freezing and thawing will help the cells to lice. Step 10, Centrifuge the tube in a microcentrifuge for 10 minutes at maximum speed. Make sure you have balanced your tube before starting the microcentrifuge. Step 11. At this point, the supernatant should contain the green fluorescent protein. If the supernatant is not fluorescent, or if the cell pellet is fluorescent, repeat the freezing, thawing, centrifugation steps until the GFP is released into the supernatant. Step 12, transfer 200 microliters of glowing supernatant to a clean tube and label it GFP cell extract. Store the extract and any leftover supernatant in the freezer for use in module three, purification of GFP by column chromatography. You are now ready to proceed to module three.